Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Today I'm testing iFitness Pro by Mehrdad Mehrain. I, I hope I pronounced the name right. It's a fitness application that provides you with the moves that you need to be doing to target certain parts, areas in your body. Let's say you want to get fit or lose weight or do some cardio training. This application has you covered. As you can see here, it covers different areas of your body. You can go through exercises by muscle or by equipment. So you have that going for you. There are hundreds of unique exercises you can do. And um, you get this images and sometimes video. you get videos, you get this uh, proper description for each move. You also get... Um, 20 25 routines programs you can do you can see the programs here so your program can be sport specific goal oriented let's say you want to lose weight so you try that one and uh, this is your workout list it tells you exactly how many sets you have to do uh, and uh, how many reps you have to do you can also see them exercise get done and um, you have the Apple TV option if you have it to show exercises on a larger display so let's say you wanna go through and keep up with exercise the moves that you need to be doing in your exercise a workout area at home you have a large TV HDTV or something like that you have the option to connect this application to it. I do like the fact that it has a bunch of tools you can use. Obviously, when you're trying to lose weight and stay fed, you want to work out regularly and not once a month. At the same time, you also have to keep track of what you eat, the amount of calories you take in, and at the same time, you also want to be eating the right type of food those of those folks who've built bodies in the past you know bodybuilding or strength training they all would tell you that you need to be very careful what you eat because that affects your energy level your mood and also the way your body is built if you're having bacon cheeseburger and fries every day and spending a lot of time in the gym you may not get the best results as in if you're having, you know, white meat and some vegetables and, you know, healthy food. So you want to be careful about that. But these tools tell you, you know, as far as calorie count counting, let's say you want to add a food, you can do that. You also have the option to track your weight body mass measurements for different areas this is if you're tracking your body let's say you're your bodybuilding and you want to have a certain size or you want to see if you're making progress that's where it comes to into comes into play you do get eye eye cloud syncing which is nice and you, you can also have multiple profiles You just have to add it but uh let me go back to workouts and let's sh let's try a couple of other ones let's try some leg so you see it in action and if you like it you just add to your routine and now if i go to my workouts i'm going to be able to not only see them also I can remove the ones that I don't like I can save so it's really highly customizable and if you wanna remove you gotta use the edit option and go from there you can schedule your workouts ahead of the time if you like you can keep track of your history which is nice you obviously have the program as I mentioned before, you can copy the program. 
and then start customizing and things like that. So you get a lot of workouts with a lot of images and you also get video, which is nice. You do get the ability to add your own workout, food, tracking, you get the tools, you have a timer. And um, you do have the backup and restore option, all these that I covered here. As far as settings go, you can erase your data, use different colors and all that. These are not really important. The, more, the most important parts are where you get to edit your workouts and you record, you have the timer, you have the schedule calendar. And it's uh, highly customizable. One thing I would say about this application is not a universal app in the sense that, yes, you can run the iPhone version on your iPad, which is what I'm exactly doing right now for this presentation, but you have to pay a separate price for the iPad version. It's the same price, but if you want to have both apps, you're going to have to pay twice. So now we got this application for 99 cents. It, it was a sale, I believe today or yesterday. So that's not huge. I mean, even if you pay $2 for this app, not huge, but usually most applications, most top applications and I wouldn't say this is not a top application it, it it really is it's one of the best fitness apps around the problem is that they sort of I think they really need to maybe change tweak their business model somewhat and um, that's the feedback that I've gotten from people who've tested in the past and uh, also if you go to the app store some people have complained about this uh, it's not a de deal breaker for, for me personally because the price is not that high and um, developers have to make money and make a living. So that's one thing to think about. As far as the content goes, I mean, I, I would say it, it has enough to keep you busy in the gym and target certain, you know, if you want to target your legs or any other part of your body, this application has you covered and also it supports custom workouts. So it's pretty nice. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I don't mean to be negative about the developer. I don't know exactly the developer in person. I just made a commentary about the pricing model. They may have to change. They may change in the future. They may offer different options for up upgrades. I have no idea on that. But uh, if, if you see any faults or any suggestions, that you have you you could include it in the comment section and um, we appreciate any feedback that we get from you guys thanks again for watching